Hey guys, welcome to The Strong Young Man. People underestimate the impact that proper oral health can have on your day-to-day -day life. The most accurate indication of poor physical health can be observed by looking at the health of your teeth. The teeth are a living part of the body. They are not dead like most people think. This means that you should be taking care of your teeth just like any other living part of the body. In most early cases, damage done to the teeth can be repaired once the disease responsible for causing the damage is eliminated from the oral environment. Today I'm going to run through how to keep your teeth and mouth healthy while also expanding on how poor oral health can negatively impact your entire body. First, let's start on practices that adversely affect your oral health. Number one, sugar and other processed carbohydrates. Contrary to popular opinion, sugar gathering on the surface of the teeth is not the primary cause of tooth decay. Instead, dietary sugars negatively affect the release of hormones that form dentine, and inadequate production of dentine results in a lack of nutrients getting into the teeth. These nutrients are delivered to the teeth by roots in the gums, like a tree that draws up water and minerals from the soil. In addition to this, when there are deficiencies in other organs caused by excessive carbohydrate consumption, the body can and will pull nutrients from the teeth as required. This weakens the tooth structure and can result in fractured teeth. Number two, bleaching the teeth. While bleach whitens the teeth initially, it wears away at the enamel, the protective layer of the teeth, which means that it becomes more susceptible to staining. Bleaching will initially make your teeth whiter than any other natural method. However, it negatively impacts oral health, including the teeth and the gums. Bleaching the teeth to make them appear healthier at the expense of true oral health is a decision that every individual will have to make for themselves. Just understand that there are other natural ways to whiten your teeth. Whiteness of the teeth comes from the health of the dentine inside the tooth. Dentine that is subject to plenty of healthy nutrients, vitamins and minerals from healthy food will mean whiter teeth. Number three, consumption of fluoride. Historically, dentists thought fluoride deficiency caused tooth decay. However, this is not the case. Fluoride has been proven to cause damage to the gums and to other pathways in the body. The most concerning problem with fluoride is that it's neurotoxic. Fluoride actually lowers your IQ and it can increase the rate at which you develop Alzheimer's disease. I recommend using fluoride-free toothpaste as well as limiting your intake of unfiltered tap water. Note that fluoride consumption has been shown in some studies to prevent tooth decay in children, so I suggest only incorporating this strategy if you are an adult. Number four, toothpaste. Other ingredients in commercial toothpaste can be harmful and toxic to the body. Chemicals such as propylene glycol, ethanol, FDNC color pigments, triclosan, artificial sweeteners, surfactants, sodium triphosphate, glycerine, calcium carbonate, carbamer, hydrated silica, and carrageenan are all harmful to the body. Instead of using commercial toothpaste, I recommend making your own toothpaste, coming up shortly. Number five, mouth breathing. Mouth breathing causes a dry mouth, which creates an ideal environment for bacteria to grow. This causes gum disease and tooth decay, and it will also cause your breath to smell. This is the cause of bad breath in the morning. Dry mouth accelerates the wear of the enamel on your teeth, which can lead to white spots. This has been my biggest problem, especially at night. Mouth breathing led to the development of these small white spots on my teeth, which are aesthetically unpleasing. They used to be much worse, but have almost disappeared over time with consistent nose breathing. Note that bleaching these white spots is the worst thing that you could do. It will only wear away at the enamel more. Mouth breathing can change your entire facial structure, including your jaw and cranium. This can result in a malocclusion, which is a misalignment of the way the teeth come down when you bite together. This will result in a sunken chin and crooked teeth. It will change the way you look forever, including how attractive women find you. Asthma, coughing, wheezing, breathlessness, snoring, sleep apnea and insomnia are all consequences of bad breathing habits. So the benefit to changing this habit is well worth the effort. Learn to breathe through your nose. To train yourself to nose breathe, one method you can employ is to put a piece of tape over your mouth when you go to sleep. It prevents the flow of air from passing by the teeth and drying out the enamel. So what does good oral care look like? Number one, healthy eating. Eliminate processed carbohydrates and ensure you consume adequate amounts of meat, fish, eggs, and vegetables. Number two, don't drink or use unfiltered tap water. Fluoride is bad for the health of your adult teeth. Number three, Brush soft. Don't use too much force. This will give you receding gums. Use the softest bristles you can find. Your toothbrush should still look brand new after six months of use. Don't use water to brush your teeth. 
Use a mixture of baking soda and salt with one drop of an essential oil without water. This will clean your teeth better than any water and commercial toothpaste combination will ever do. I've been using this combination for two years now with no adverse effects and plenty of benefits. Brush your tongue too. A lot of bacteria live on the tongue. Number four, floss with botanical oils. Botanical oils kill the bacteria in between the teeth. Oils in my collection are spearmint, peppermint, and if I need a real kick, clove. Keep floss in the car so that you habitually floss between destinations. Now everything in this video is the total plan to supreme oral care. It must be noted that it is not necessary to implement all of these practices into your routine. You will benefit greatly from including only a few of these habits. If you target to practice everything in this regime, make sure you implement these methods slowly. Implementing everything at once will be too overwhelming. Implementing positive changes should be done in slow steps, as moving too fast could derail you entirely, which will leave you less attracted to the entire concept of self-improvement. I suggest picking the easiest practice or the one that appeals to you the most and implementing that until it becomes a natural part of your routine before trying to implement another. It should take approximately 12 months for you to revolutionize your oral health. The slow and steady journey will be worth it one year from now. Thanks for watching today's episode. In episode 18, I'll be talking about beta males. Subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when it drops. Catch you then.